God used a man named Paul to write the letter of Romans a long time ago to the people in the church in Rome who weren't getting along very well. They were fighting over what rules to follow and what special things they needed to do to have a friendship with God. But Paul had an important message for the people in Rome. We don't become friends with God by doing lots of good things. We become friends with God by believing in Jesus. Paul knew that himself when he put his faith in Jesus and God forgave him from some pretty awful things that he had done. We are given that same forgiveness when we put our faith in Jesus too. Romans is in the New Testament in the Bible. That means it was written after Jesus came to earth. It's toward the back of your Bible. If you have a Bible at home, we'd love for you to mark it with a bookmark and follow along with us each week. If you need a Bible, have your grown up send us a message and we'd love to get one to you. Okay, let's dive in. Hi there friends, Miss Colleen here. Have you seen pickles anywhere? Oof, oof. Hi friends, oh, this bag is so heavy. I'm having a hard time getting up to my seat. Here, pickles, let me, let me help you with all of that. Oh, there you go. Thanks for helping me lift my bag. I needed help, but I wasn't sure how to ask you to help me lift it. You're welcome, Pickles. Did you know that in the Bible, it tells us that God will help us even when we don't know how to pray? He does. Like, you just helped me lift my bag even though I didn't ask? I can't wait to hear more about that after we sing a song to worship our strong and loving God. us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus. What can separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus? What can separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus? Nothing, 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 yeah. We are more than We are more than conquerors. We are more, more, more than conquerors. Through him that loved us, through him that loved us. We are more, more, more than conquerors. Through him that loved us, through him that loved us. What can separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus? What can separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus? What can separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus? Nothing, 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 yeah. We are more than conquerors. We are more than conquerors. We are more, more, more than conquerors. Through Him that loved us, through Him that loved us, we are more, more, more than conquerors. Through Him that loved us, through Him that loved us. What can separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus? What can separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus? What can separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus? Nothing, 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 yeah. We are more than conquerors, oh. Romans 8, 37, we are more 
than conquerors. Romans 8, 37, we are more than conquerors. Romans 8, 37, we are more than conquerors. I could carry my backpack all on my own, but it was way too heavy. I'm really glad that I could help you, Pickles, but what do you have in there anyways? Oh, just some things that I used to go exploring, like that tent behind us. That, that was in your backpack? Oh yeah, and some binoculars? That makes sense. And a blender? And my favorite stuffy. You know, all the important things. That is a lot of stuff that you have packed in that backpack, Pickles. But I'm really happy to help you with all of it. Did you know that God helps us even when we don't know how to pray? Wait, you mean I don't have to talk to God in a certain way or say special things when I talk to Him? No. Remember how we've been reading through the book of Romans in the Bible? Well, the man named Paul, who God helped write Romans, tells us that the Holy Spirit helps us when we're weak. So, God sends the Holy Spirit to live inside of us when we trust in Jesus. And when we aren't strong enough, he talks to God for us? Like, when we can't pick up our own backpacks? I suppose when we can't carry our own bags, but it's really when we're having a hard time making good choices or things just feel hard or we feel really sad. The Holy Spirit helps us and he steps in and prays or talks to God for us. How cool is that? The Holy Spirit talks to God for me. Let's read that verse that you're talking about. Sure, let me grab my Bible. And friends, remember that the Bible is God's words writ to us so that we can know more about God. So our verse is in Romans chapter 8. It's verses 26 and 27. And it says, In the same way, the Holy Spirit helps us when we are weak. We don't know what we should pray for, but the Spirit himself prays for us. He prays through groans too deep for words. And God who looks into our hearts knows the mind of the Spirit. And the Spirit prays for God's people just as God wants him to pray. So, the Holy Spirit talks to God for us. But how do I know the Holy Spirit is praying for me? I thought you might ask that question, Pickles, and I've got an answer. But let's take a break here because I think we should draw a picture. Hi friends! Jump up and down if you're excited to draw today. Oh good, I'm excited too. Don't forget your drawing supplies. If you need some paper and crayons or markers, pause the video and go grab them. Alright, here we go. We've been learning about prayer today. That we don't have to be strong. God is strong for us and he wants us to talk to him. I'm going to turn on the timer and I want you to draw a picture of someone you want to pray for. Ready? You are the light, you live in me. Help me to love like you love me. Even when I want to go my own way, Jesus, you make me strong no i won't give up even when it's tough i'm gonna shine my light for you yes i will do good and i will be kind i'm gonna shine my light for you i'll shine for you
gonna shine my light for you. Yes, I will do good and I will be kind. I'm gonna shine my light for you. No, I won't give up even when it's tough. I'm gonna shine my light for you. Yes, I will do good and I will be kind. I'm gonna shine my light for you. I'll shine for you. see what you created. Can you hold it up for me? Nice. I love that we can always talk to God. Here's what I drew. I drew a picture of my sister. She's who I'm praying for. Let's see what else the Bible says about prayer. Back to the message. Before our break, we learn that God helps us in our weakness. When it's hard for us to make good choices, or when we feel sad, or when things are hard, the Holy Spirit helps us. God sends the Holy Spirit to live inside of us when we trust in Jesus, and the Holy Spirit prays for us. Now back to the message. So, the Holy Spirit prays for us, even when we don't know what to talk to God about. But. How do I know that the Holy Spirit lives in me and that he's praying for me? Well, it all comes back to Jesus. 
Jesus lived a perfect life and then he died on the cross to take on the punishment we deserve for our sins. Those things we do that make us feel bad inside and that hurt other people. And our sins separate us from God. But when we put our trust in Jesus, he takes away our sins and he brings us into God's family. He does pickles. And when we trust in Jesus, God sends the Holy Spirit to live inside of us so that we have a helper. The Holy Spirit is the Spirit of God living in us. And he helps us make good choices. And he helps us to be more like Jesus. And when we don't know what we need to ask God about and we don't know how to pray or we're having a hard time, the Holy Spirit prays for us to God. So you're saying that God loves us so much that he sends his spirit to live inside of us when we trust in Jesus? That is amazing. I know it really is amazing. And because the Holy Spirit lives inside of us, God is always with us. We are never separated from God when we trust in Jesus because God's Spirit comes to live inside of us. Oh, that sounds like the second part of our memory verse. Romans 8, 37 and 39 say, We are more than conquerors through Him who loved us. Nothing will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Let's practice saying our verse to help us remember. And let's try some different voices. I think we ought to start with a pirate voice. What do you think, Pickles? Yar! I love me some pirates! Okay, friends, put on your pirate voices and repeat after me. Yar! We are more than conquerors! Through him who loved us! Nothing will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Your Great job. Those are some awesome pirates. Now I think that we should say it in a voice like Pickles. All right, repeat after me. We are more than conquerors. Through him who loved us. Nothing will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. I like that Pickles voice a lot. Good job, you guys. So, when we trust in Jesus, Nothing we could ever do will separate us from God's love. Even when we sin, we will always be friends with God because of what Jesus has done for us. You're right, Pickles. When we trust in Jesus, God gives us his Holy Spirit to live inside of us. And even when we don't know what to do or things are hard, the Holy Spirit will pray for us and help us make good choices. Our takeaway this week is... Even when I am weak, God is strong. Thank you for joining us today, friends. Remember to check the website or your grown-ups email for more activities to go with our message. Let's pray. God, thank you so much that you are always with us and that when we put our trust in Jesus, you send your Holy Spirit to live inside of us and that your Holy Spirit prays for us when we don't know how to pray. Thank you that you love us so much. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Friends, remember to go tell your grown-ups what you learned about God today. Bye-bye. Bye, friends.